Hey folks, welcome back to the Off Grid Workshop. My name is Nigel and today we have a Rapido motorhome here in the workshop and we're doing a pretty standard install that we do quite a lot of which is uh, upgrading the lead acid batteries to lithium, installing a DC to DC charger and then putting in a, a pretty good solar system for a van this size. Uh, so I thought I would take you along in the process and just show you what we're working with and how we do this. Uh, so basically retrofitting uh, new technology with a van. This van is not that old, it's a 2016, uh, but even then, the trouble with a lot of motorhomes is that even brand new ones don't have sort of cutting edge best technology. So uh, we get quite a lot of these sort of requests to upgrade to lithium and put better charging systems in and solar and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's go. All right, so this is the kit that's coming out. Two old lead acid batteries that are pretty much done. So we're gonna be replacing these with a single lithium battery and then better charging systems. All right, so we've got the old batteries out, done some uh, figuring out down here, what's what, figuring out where the DC to DC wire is that comes, which is the signal from the alternator, and these are the two wires that come from the engine battery. And uh, yeah, got an idea of what we need to do now. So we're gonna be installing uh, a relay in here as well, just to be able to, uh, read the engine battery voltage on the display unit uh, in this van. And then uh, obviously tapping into the wire coming from the engine battery to install the DC to DC charger and uh, do all of that stuff. So we're gonna crack on with that now. All right, so quick update. Uh, this is where we've got to so far. So we put in a relay here, which basically intercepts the line that goes from the, that was going from the engine battery to the electrical system. And so what this relay does is that when the engine is off, it allows the display on the electrical system to still report the engine battery voltage. But then we put in this wire here, coming, basically took it off that, the wire that's coming off the engine battery, coming out here, and that's going to the DC to DC charger. So we've got a Victor and Orion 30 amp DC to DC there. So it's coming in there, and then I've got the common ground, and then the line that's going to the battery via a fuse here. So the battery's gonna sit over here, and we will put this directly onto the terminal on the battery. We're then gonna put the uh, MPPT charge controller over here with a DC circuit breaker, and we're gonna bring the cables from the solar down through, probably drill a hole neatly through here to be able to pull those through, run them up that channel up to the roof uh, but DC, uh, DC circuit breaker, MPPT over there, and that's going to then obviously loop around to the battery. So we're going to mount that, those two things tomorrow, ready to be able to connect those up when we get the solar panels, hopefully this week. So yeah, it's looking good, making progress. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. So DC to DC is all wired in, just uh, this wiring is very messy because the battery is actually going to lie down. I'm going to put a board over that hole and tidy up everything inside there and put it all back together. Um, got the circuit breaker for the um, solar mounted there. Just need the input wires to go in. They're going to go in at the bottom, round to the top, and then down. It's already connected on the bottom, the out going into the charge controller, and then the wires going out of the charge controller to a fuse, uh, and then the black wire that's going to run around the back there and then onto the battery as well. Uh, so now we're going to start with mounting the stuff on the roof for the solar. So first drill the hole for the gland where the wires are going to come through and then we can crack on with that. Progress so far, so we've closed off that box, tidied up all the wiring and put everything away in there. We've got the solar charge controller connected up, so that's the output line with the fuse there, wraps around and then we've got the PV coming in from the panels which go, both of them go into the bottom of the DC circuit breaker. The PV lines go into the top of the circuit breaker and then come out of the bottom into the charge controller and then out of the charge controller onto that line there. It all connects up into this here. And we've got the DC to DC here. Uh, the output from the DC to DC goes through a fuse as well. And then that connects up here into, uh, it's gonna go into the battery. Um, this is the input coming into the DC to DC and there's a fuse on the engine battery. So happy with that. Looking pretty good so far. 
and then came through the roof here for the wires coming from the solar panels. Managed to make use of trunking that was there ex already, um, added a little bit more there. Uh, this was probably the most convenient and best place to put the solar to come in to make it as unobtrusive and unseen as possible. It's always a trade-off when you're doing these sort of uh, builds and, and upgrades because you've got an existing van so you're trying to uh, not to be too destructive in terms of dismantling the cabinetry and stuff like that but equally uh, you want to hide it and do a neat job and make it look nice and you're also just constantly in that tension between if you spend too long taking stuff apart and fiddling with things uh, it just takes too much time and costs too much money all that sort of stuff so um, let's see if I can get some light up here that's the PV line there. There were already some wires in some trunking there that came around. We then ran it in the trim along the top of the bed. It's completely hidden. I can probably, oh no, I don't have the battery connected. Can't show you right now. Uh, runs down the back of that trim there and then comes out there. So pretty happy with how neat it is. You're not even going to be able to see it bar just a little bit there, but it's, we put it in conduit and uh, tidied it up. There were already wires there, so pretty happy that we didn't add much to it. We just added to what was there already. And then I'll show you what the outside looks like quickly. And here is the gland that we put on here. Pretty happy with how this is looking. Uh, we're gonna be putting the two solar panels here and here, two 100 watt panels. Uh, so nice flat part of the roof out of the way of skylights and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we're looking pretty good. These will wrap around like that and meet up with the solar panel. So pretty pleased with how that turned out and how that's looking. So this is where we're at now. Battery is in. Had to lie the battery down on its side because of the height. But yeah, looking pretty good. Got the solar programmed and everything. Now I just need to put the solar panels on the roof and then we are sh good to go. We That's us done. So partially cloudy but we are getting some solar. Looking right, 181 watts. It's charging at 12 amps, which is pretty good. If we go across to the actual battery, have a look at that. 14.5 amps coming in, nearly 100% state of charge. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. And there we have it, folks. Just uh, put everything back together here. Uh, given this thing a clean and a vacuum and all that sort of stuff just uh, have it parked out on the drive here just outside of the workshop and we are just testing just making sure that the solar all works everything uh, is good and so far so good busy charging the battery up nicely customers on their way to fetch it so yeah all in all pretty happy with the install looking good and uh, I think it's going to work well for them thanks for watching folks hopefully you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video cheers